Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the award ceremony itself. The first uh, speaker is our partner in uh, awarding this prize, in supporting it and letting it come, which is the Compagnia San Paolo. Uh, the president of the Compagnia San Paolo is Professor Francesco Profumo, who is a former rector of the Polytechnical University of Turing and a former minister of the Italian Republic, I understand not of the current government. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir, please. Thank you, President. Um, distinguished colleagues, I'm honored to be here in Bern at the Swiss Academy of Arts and Sciences. And I would like to thank the President, uh, Professor Antonio Loprieno, for inviting me to the award ceremony of the Madame de Stahl Prize. Compagnia di San Paolo has been supporting the prize since 2017, and we are very honored to be part of a, such a prestigious initiative of ALEA especially in its celebration for the 25th anniversary. Compagnia di San Paolo, which I'm honored to chair, has been founded in 1563, 466 years ago, and a charitable brotherhood, and it's today one of the largest private law foundations in Europe. It pursues aims of public interest and social use in order to foster for civil, cultural, and economic development of the communities in which it operates. Compagnia is active in the sectors of research and health, art, cultural heritage and activities, cultural innovation, social policies, and philanthropy. Its member of the European Foundation Center, EFC, and ACRI, the Italian Association of Foundations of Banking Origin and Saving Banks. The All European Academy's Madame de Stahl Prize for Cultural Values was established and firstly awarded in the year 2014 to promote and enhance the intellectual and cultural richness of Europe that comes from its inherent diversity and plurality and foster the European integration process. The prize indeed highlights how outstanding scholarly work, particularly in the field of the humanities and the social sciences, contributes to the understanding of Europe as a cultural and intellectual entity. This initiative raised awareness to the importance of the European cultural values, especially in a moment when cultural diversity is meant as a treat. Strain is growing and trust is declining. The prize aims at promoting and strengthening an understanding of Europe as complex but multifaceted, intellectual, open, and dynamic. We are glad that this year the prize is award awarded to Professor Mariana Mazzucato, a great economist that devoted her career and her outstanding work to innovation and its relationship with the role of the public policy and how to steer innovation in mission-oriented ways directed at the sustainable development goals. Professor Mazzucato will be more widely introduced by Professor Jean-Pierre Bourguignon Later on, I just want to remark that her inspiring work has been also a reference point 
for our activities in the field of research and innovation. I would briefly address to you the commitment of Compagnia di San Paolo in this great initiative. The foundation is engaged in supporting innovation and it and in its several aspects, from the technological side to the social and cultural one. And it is actually the cultural environment through the, its connection with the humanities, science and technology and economy that can give a great contribution to innovation and have a strong impact on the society. In this effort to promote the relationships between a scientific knowledge and its impact on society, Compagnia di San Paolo wish to widen the concept of dissemination of culture and knowledge transferred to citizens. In particular, in this field, Compagnia has set up actions to intercept new entities to develop innovative formats dedicated to the relationships between science and society. This is in light of the European reflection on the subject, open science, and the priorities emerging from the current public debate in terms of the spread of scientific knowledge and gender participation in the educational path and the scientific professions. I hope that this prize will continue to enhance eminent researchers and intellectuals whose work represent a significant contribution to the identity and values of Europe. And I wish to thank Alea for its great efforts in keeping all the European academics connected in supporting in their mission of contributing to scientific progress and the spreading knowledge. I'm concluding this short speech by expressing again how much Compagnia di San Paolo is proud to support the Madame de Stahl Prize, congratulating Professor Mazzucato for her nomination and thanking again Professor uh, Lo Pietro and Alea for inviting me today to this award ceremony. Thank you. <laughs>